Hello everybody, Sarah here from SH Millinery with another question and answer video. And uh, one of my followers, Elaine Wilkinson, asked what kind of stiffeners do you use for different fabrics, e.g. ribbons, lace, etc. And what I thought I'd do is I'd combine this video, not only talking about stiffeners, but also talking about glues. So, let's get started with stiffeners. Now, you can buy a lot of chemical stiffeners for stiffening hats, and I'm not going to go um, in depth into talking about those because a good friend of mine, another milliner, uh, Ilona does a very good video showing um, how to use chemical stiffeners and I'm going to put a link up at the end of this video and also in the description below. I don't tend to use a lot of chemicals because I have quite severe asthma and allergies and I find them difficult to work with because you've obviously got to wear masks and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to talk about other types of stiffener first. Now one of the main ones I use which you've seen me use time and time and time again is PVA. Now PVA stiffener can be used for lots and lots and lots of things and it's polyvinyl adhesive and you can it's all, sometimes it's called white glue or wood glue and this is it, PVA adhesive. And what you can do is mix this up in varying quantities with water, depending on how stiff you want the end result to be. Um, so about 50-50 is normally a good start. You can water it down if needs be. Now, what I would say is I use this on felt. But you can't just brush this on felt like you would with some of the chemical stiffeners because you just end up with a thin film of white sort of plastic inside your hat. You can only put it on the felts if they are extremely damp and you work the PVA in very well. And I'm hoping to just put up a little bit of a video to show you on, on this video. Do you know, I do talk a lot of rubbish sometimes. Anyway, <clears throat> so PVA. Now, you can also use PVA for ribbons and lace and all sorts of things. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do samples of different things as we go along. Now, the spray bottle is, is, is stuck on this one, so I'm just going to pour some PVA into a little pot. So you can either spray it on, brush it on, or, or dunk whatever you're using in it. Um, and I'm just using a cheap paintbrush for this. So what I'm going to do is put some on my ribbon and my lace. And then I'm going to set them aside. So that's PVA. Now the good thing about PVA is you can build up the stiffness with it. It dries clear. And um, if you absolutely have gone totally wrong, you can wash it in hot water, really, really soak it in hot water and the glue will come out again, which is quite handy if you're doing a felt hat and it's all gone wrong. You can dunk it in some hot water, get rid of the glue and start again, which is another reason I like PVA. So that's PVA. <laughs> I've rather soaked that, but never mind. I should put it somewhere to dry. So that's PVA. Now other stiffeners that you can use are spray starch. So, so literally just a can of spray starch 
you can mix up your own starch if you want to use cornstarch and water, but why bother when it comes in a nice, easy, handable, handy can? Oh, should have stiffened that down first. Fizz. Got my smell as well. So that's the spray starch. I'm going to put that aside to dry. Now, I wouldn't recommend spray starch for anything other than ribbons and lace and things like that. It doesn't work on a whole hat. Just the hat gets too wet and it would be too soggy. And you probably would get starch residue on dark colours. As with most of these things, it's best to test them colour-wise. Um, with the PVA, you can pretty much use that on anything. You can use that on straw, you can use it on felt, ribbons, feathers, anything you like. Now, other things that you can use <clears throat> are lacquers. You can either use lacquer in a can or liquid lacquer in a bottle. This is acrylic matte varnish, but it's a, a, a liquid lacquer. So you can use this. Now, I use this sometimes to put over straws if they haven't stiffened enough and also if they've lost their shine. You can buy um, lacquers in a clear... Um, satin, gloss, or a matte varnish. You can get them in all sorts, but they do work well if you want to get up another bit of a shine. And you want to stiffen. So that will stiffen it and make it shine. So I'm going to do this bit of lace. And this bit of ribbon. So we're going to put those to dry. We're going to look at all these when we've finished. Now one of the stiffeners I do use that's a chemical is shellac. And you need clear or white because shellac tends to come in various shades of brown up to very dark. And obviously that will discolour the item you're using. So it's best to use clear or white shellac. You can buy um, spray shellac ready done. I buy it as it is and I water it down with methylated spirits. I have done a video on using shellac before. And again, you need a brush to get it into the felt. So, for example, you would get your mix half and half of shellac and mess and really get it into the, the felt. Now, the reason I've got this felt here is because I've stiffened this heavily. Can you hear it? I've really made it stiff with shellac. And if you want something really stiff, Shellac works really well. I wanted it really stiff because I wanted this indentation to stay put and it wouldn't have done unless it was quite rock solid. So that has had shellac. And as you can see, I've worked it right in so that it doesn't discolour the felt. You can also use gelatin. And you can buy gelatin in the baking counter and you can um, make the gelatin up into a liquid and use that to stiffen fabrics, lace, ribbons. But it's messy. It's a bit of a performance. Why bother if you can just spray it or brush something on? So... Although I bought this with the intention of using it, I did think to myself, this sounds like 
really hard work. And why make life hard? <clears throat> so that's about all the stiffness I'm going to talk about for the moment. And I'm going to move on to glues. And people tend to have this no-no about gluing anything on a hat. There are some instances where you just can't get away without using glue. And milliners throughout the age have used glue. If you go back and look in books that talk about millinery from the 30s, they all used glue. Now, nowadays, we've got a lot more glues that, that we can um, utilise. Now, PVA is a glue. It is an adhesive. But to be honest, it, it's too runny and it's not great for lots of um, applications. So I don't tend to use it. It's fine if you want to stick paper or anything like that. I use fast tack, high tack, fast tack glue because it's great. It dries clear. Um, comes out white, dries clear and it dries quite quickly and it's ideal for all sorts of trimmings and if you put it between two pieces of fabric and then iron them it produces a heat sealed bond so I'm just going to show you that now so with my fast tag what I've done is I've put some into a dish because I want to be able to brush it on. So I'm putting this on this piece of fabric. Then I'm going to iron it to this piece and show you what I mean. A glue that you can use to meld fabric together or use as a stabilizer is Fab Grip. It comes as a powder and you sprinkle it on the fabric, put your other piece over the top and iron it and it will um, join them together and it's resistant to hot machine washing and dry cleaning. Now, it works really well as does using the glue I just showed you for bonding fabrics, but because you've got to use an iron there are limitations as to what you can do for hats. Great for brims, flat brims and things like that, but not not very good for other for other uh, applications. But worth bearing in mind. One of my favourite favourite glues is Fabri-Tac Beacon Glue, because this will bond pretty much anything. Now it's a clear, fast setting glue. And when I say fast, it will go solid in the um, tube if you're not careful once the air gets in there, but it can be thinned with acetone, nail polish acetone. Um, and this will stick feathers, flowers, bits to hats, fabric to hats, wires, oh, bits of wood, leather, all sorts. So it's one of my absolute go-tos. So that's Fabri-Tac. And what I want to talk about lastly is rubber cement. Now, this was brought to my attention by another milliner who many years ago used um, a millinery glue. And millinery glue, again, it's been in lots of books over the years. And I thought, well, what on earth is millinery glue? Well, it turns out it's rubber. And so I ordered some rubber cement online to give this a go. Now, if you're allergic to latex, rubber latex, obviously it's not for you. But this one actually quite handily comes with a little brush. It is very gloopy. Now I'm going to have a go at joining some fabric to this piece of buckram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it on my buckram like so. Now I did find with this you have to check for colour, colour 
um, showing through. When the rubber dries, obviously it does dry slightly yellow. And um, I used it on some clear fabric and that it showed through. So you have to test your fabric. Now what's nice about this is you can reposition reposition fabric while you're using it before it goes sets hard and, and uh, sticks permanently. So there we are. So what I mean is you can put your fabric on and if you're not very happy with where it is, you can peel it up and move it about. So let's just do that. I'll do it the other way. Or peel it up again. And you can smooth it. This is great for things like velvet, where, and this is a velour fabric, where you really struggle to get everything in place. Now, I'm just going to put some clips on that. I'm going to put it to one side and we'll see how that fares when it's dry. Now, going back to stiffened. This was our ribbon and our lace that was stiffened with the PVA. And it is very stiff very very stiff it'll stand up on its own and that was with quite diluted pva now this is with the spray varnish and again very stiff And pretty much indistinguishable from the PVA um, stiffened. So both of those have stiffened really well. Now to the start. That doesn't give such a stiff finish as this, as those other two. A slightly softer finish, but um, nice for making trims and things. So you've got it slightly softer. As you can see, it's a little bit bendier, but it is stiff enough to hold its shape with whatever you're doing. Okay, so that's the starch. And the other thing is, when I showed you the spray uh, varnish, you can actually spray paint on here. You can use, I use gold and make it nice for hats. So those are those stiffens. This was the fast tack that I used to glue two pieces of fabric together, which of course has made them very stiff. And you'll see it's dried and ironed and it is glued quite solidly. I would actually wreck the fabric if I tried to peel that apart. So, and I used white fabric to show that it doesn't show through. So that's the fast tack glue from high tack. And here my rubber cement is setting nicely. It's almost completely set now. So that'll be glued on really nicely. And what I can do is cut the edges and then glue all those down as well. And it will give a nice neat finish. <laughs> 